is we are going to be doing slash method. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a flared skirt. Now we want to keep the flare proportionate and we want to keep a simplistic style line. So we're actually going to combine these darts to one dart, but proportionately we're going to spread the skirt down here on this end. So whatever we take out up here at the top proportionately is going to transfer to down here at the bottom. This is where if you shorten your hemlines to fit it on a piece of paper, it's not going to be as obvious because you don't have as much distance for the proportionate flare to show. Number three, we're going to do slash method. And number four, we're going to do the same thing, except for we're going to combine both of our darts. So we have no dart at the waist at all. And both of those darts proportionately are going to be converted to flare down here at the bottom. You with me? Okay. So slash method means we trace the skirt first. Go ahead and do that. You're gonna want some extra tissue paper. Nope, pivot method, you're gonna want extra tissue paper. Slash method, we're filling in with paper anyway. So if we're doing slash method, it doesn't matter where we start, where we stop tracing. What matters is that we get all the lines on there because once we take off the sloper, it's not going back on. So make sure your hip lines on there. Make sure your pivots are on there. I'm just going to mark that this is the center front so that you guys are aware that I'm working on a front. We are taking this skirt from a pencil skirt to an A-line. That's what we're doing. And it's called an A-line because it's shaped like the letter A. As opposed to straight down from the hip. Okay? Pencil, straight like a pencil. That's what we have been doing. Now we're doing A-line, okay? We are going to cut down the fold line of our outside dart. So the dart that is closest to our out seam, not the dart that is closest to our center front. And we're gonna cut down the fold line. So that means this one right here. And we're gonna cut all the way down to our hemline we need to make sure that this line stays perpendicular to our hemline or to our hip line. Sorry, to hip line. Okay, so basically you're putting in a crease mark right on that outside dart. We need to remember where your pivot is because we are going to cut, oh my gosh, dead battery. I'm gonna have to plug in pretty soon. We are going to cut down our fold line to our common pivot point. Don't cut through it. And then we're gonna start from the hemline and come up to our pivot. The only place our paper is gonna be attached is this little dot right there. We are gonna tape this dart shut. It is gonna proportionately open the bottom. Once again, it needs to be held on by just a tiny sliver. But if you cut through your pivot, big whooper, you got tape, okay? Just like slash method for number one, we're going to shift this line to touch this line and we're talking vertical lines, not the waistline. Close your dart and watch what happens to our hemline when I do that. you have proportionately appropriate flare. That's it. Now the tricky part comes is now is your hip line square? Is your hemline? 
How are you going to get those to be smooth? And are they going to end up being in a straight line? Your hip line needs to stay in the same spot on the outseam, and it needs to be in proportionately the same spot on the inseam, which means your hip line now is going to have a curve. Because it's an A-line flared skirt, so is your hem line going to have a curve. So how do you how do you fix that curve? First of all, I need filler paper. Need to secure that. I'm going to just lightly with my pencil, I'm going to extend my hip line that way and I'm going to extend my hip line this way. And then I'm going to use that curved ruler and just smooth that. Here it won't make that big of a difference at the hip line, but down here it can. You just need to know where those intersection points are going to be to be able to smooth that and get that curve. Once you get your paper on there and secure, then fold this dart, true the waistline, seam allowance the waistline, cut it with the dart folded in the appropriate manner. Decide your aesthetics. Is it a back? Is it a front? Is it having a center seam? Is it not having a center seam? How are you doing that? That's your choice. You decide all of that, label appropriately. Because we're now working with flare down here at the hemline, this is going to be right what we were talking before. You might need to fold the hemline up just like you do a dart and cut it folded because that's going to change how your hemline out here at the bottom kicks out for your seam allowance. Okay, so down here at the bottom, I would fold that seam allowance. On the out seam, you don't have to worry so much on the center because it's straight and perpendicular. It's not flared. I would decide how much of a hem I'm gonna put on there. I would cut that folded. Oi! Because you can see that it flares out and then returns back in. It's not, it doesn't continue the flare. It comes back in this way. It's more evident in full scale when it's proportionately bigger, subtle in half scale. Okay.